Hello everybody. I will send another PC to do a review on. This is a, another little mini PC. Let's bring you a little bit closer and show you what it's all about. We'll see you here in a second. Mini PC, model AK1 Plus, black, 16 gigabyte RAM, 512 gigabyte hard drive, US. Cam Rui Mini PC. Let's get this thing open and see what we got. Little mini PC. Power supply, HDMI cable. Bracket for mounting. Looks like some additional screws for mounting. And then the manual. Let's start with a little mini PC. Looks really, really good. So on this side here, we have the DC for power, USB, two HDMI ports, ethernet port. Looks like an auxiliary port for sound. On this side, we have the power button and three more USB ports. Looks like we got 2.0 and 3.0. The back side of it. Now this one's really cool. It's got a place for an external hard drive, uh, 2.5 bay. Let's open this up and take a look at it. Let's get this cover off. And you can see down in there, that's for the expansion for the uh, SSD. Pretty straightforward. But what's really cool on this is this docks. So we're gonna unlock this. And it comes apart. And it attaches with a C connection. And there's a C connection on that. Really, really cool. So this is the main PC. And then it has a little docking station that goes to it for the expansion. Then you can just lock it. Nice, very nice feature. So what's really, really cool about this little mini PC this is the Alder Lake N97. Really, really cool. Can't wait to get this thing fired up and, and see how it performs. Standard little power supply, standard HDMI cable, and then a little mounting bracket to be able to put it on the back of a TV or on a wall, depending on where you want to put it. Some extra screws, mounting screws, and then a little manual. We've got everything hooked up. Got all the keyboard, mouse, and all that good stuff hooked up. I've booted the computer up to get ready to start the process of getting everything set up. So let me take you in a little closer. Here is the little mini. You can see that pretty little blue light all the way around it. That's really awesome. Just adds a little bit more feature uh, to this little mini. So let me bring you back up to the screen. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start this process of getting this all set up. And as soon as I get something uh, worth seeing, I'll bring you back and show you what's going on. See you in a minute. All right, that finished up pretty quick. Now we just need to get it connected to uh, my Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is connected up. Now we just need to go get some updates. So let's go check that. So we got quite a few updates to take care of. Uh, so once this finishes uh, downloading and updating, I'll come back. And then we'll go check this PC out. All right, so I got all the updates done. It took a couple minutes, but they're all up to date. It's running good. So let's go ahead and start with system. So here you go. We've got everything you need to see right here. We've got Microsoft 11 Pro, which is really good. Intel N97, 200 megahertz, four cores, four logic processor. Really awesome. So we got that. There you go. So there's the processor. Here's all the information on that. Memory, 16 gigabyte. All looks good. And then the disk, the SSD, and then of course the Wi-Fi. And then the GPU. All looks pretty good. So I've downloaded a couple programs on here. Uh, Open Office. Open Office is very good because it's free. All right. So and it works very well in this little mini PC. I also installed a, a small game uh, from the Microsoft Store. All right, here we go. <coughs> Wow. Nice. Little PC is doing pretty good. Graphics is doing really good. Woo! Yeah. Oh, watch out, people. Very nice. Did really good. The little PC did very good on that game. The graphics uh, looked really good. The processor kept up with it. Let's go over some of the details. So what's really cool about this processor, this is the... Uh, Intel N97, which is showing that it's 20% faster than N95 process. Really, really cool. 3.60 gigahertz, four cores, four threads, 
1.20 graphics max uh, dynamic frequency. Really, really cool. So it has the Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2. It has the dual HDMI ports, so you can run two monitors, depending on your situation, how you want it. Then, of course, the additional part of this little PC allows you to upgrade your hard drive to up to 2 terabyte SSD. Then, of course, you've got your 16 gigabyte DDR for RAM, and then it comes with a 512 gigabyte uh, M2 SSD. The quality coming out of the display is really, really good. This is an older HDTV, but it looks really, really good. All right, so I'm surrounded with a bunch of little mini computers here. This one's really, really cool. This is a N97, which I don't have. I got a lot of its little brothers. These are N5105s. I've used these for quite a while. They've done really, really good. I always recommend a, a mini PC for a lot of reasons. A good solution without breaking the bank, and it does everything you need to do. Now, if you want a gaming type PC, then well, you're gonna have to build a gaming PC. But if you need something to do word processing, get online, YouTube, light editing, just business type stuff, then this is a really good solution. So overall, this little mini PC, I'm super impressed with it. I'm super glad to have it. I hope that helps, and we'll talk to you in the next one.